Oh, hey, Mike, Hi. it's Bob Guinea yeah. here. Oh, oh, hey, Bob. <laughs> you called on, a, called on a different phone number. All right, well, cool. Hold on. Uh, don't go away. I I'm, won't. I'll stay with you. <laughs> that's so funny. I thought you'd be calling on a different line, so that's why I, I said, well, I'll get this phone call on quickly because then i got to wait for Bob. All right, stick around. We're going to talk holiday shopping in a minute. Bob, you there? I'm here. I'm so sorry we called the wrong line. No, no, no. That's all right. I mean, this line works also, but I was looking for you on a different phone line, which did you call the other line and nobody answered it? I'm not entirely I sure. I didn't. I, I watched the other line uh, and it, I don't, I didn't see it ring. So uh, yeah, if it did ring, that. then it's my fault. Anyway, no, no, not a problem at all. But then on this phone line, I sometimes, when I have a moment, I just answer it. <laughs> hey, you're on the air. What's going on? Yeah, oh, right. you. Oh, it's my lacrosse talk guest. Oh, well, because I could have talked with whoever else that way. If it wasn't sure. you, I would have talked to that person for 30 seconds and then said, I got to go. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, my uh, my Sparty friend is trying to get a hold of me here. I got to. That's right, buddy. A tough year to be a Sparty, but we're we're here still. You we're know, still battling it. Stuff. Uh, and when uh, when the Spartans go down, do you throw your allegiance even temporarily to uh, Michigan because they're still Big Ten? They're uh, you know, in the neighborhood. I I gotta say I, I I probably should. I don't I don't want to see them lose and blow it any more than they kind of already have publicly. But mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I mean, I I definitely wouldn't mind seeing you know Michigan at least over Ohio State. That would be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, all right. Then you and I are on the same page. If it can't be Michigan State. Then, yep. then it better. It's kind of like the Packers. If it can't be the Packers, it just sure as hell shouldn't be the Vikings. The Bears. You know, I'll take, <laughs> Chicago, I'll take Detroit or Chicago. You know, I, I grew yep. up in Michigan, so I know uh, you did. I know, yeah. Uh, so living here, I'm a Packer fan. But if it can't be the Packers, then I'd vote for Detroit. I will not be unhappy if Detroit makes it. Certainly, at the moment, they're a much better football team than. Than the past. Yeah, it'll be nice to see the Lions do something great this year, you know? First time yeah, eight and two yeah, since no 1952. Question. Well, it gives me a reason to actually watch football because if it's, you know, if it's Philadelphia and San Francisco or, or you know, San Diego and blah, blah, I don't even care. I mean, I, I know like it. watch it football, but that's, those are the games where I watch football a little bit yeah. and do something else at the same time because <laughs> I don't really care. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I did that last time. We'll be night. on the air here in half a minute. Just a All quick buddy, reminder, thanks. when I start to be nice with, to you again, that's right before i got to hang up on you. So, Got it. <laughs> uh, thanks very much for doing this. Next time you well, thank you me, for having my us. voice will be on the air. Oh, sure. Thanks for being had. <laughs> Hi, Mike Hayes, and this is Lacrosse Talk. All right, I got all my Sparty versus Michigan and fun uh, old school stuff done with my guest, Bob Guinea. Who said? If you saw his face, you'd say, "Oh, that Bob! Yeah, yeah, uh, I remember him. He was on TV. He was on the. Wasn't he the Bachelor? He, I see him on TV every now and then, and we get him as often as I can to talk with us on the <laughs> radio about unique gifts and uh, family fun for the holidays." Uh, Bob, good morning. Thanks for talking with us. What have you got on your list this year? Uh, we got so many great things, and, and of course, you know, I think uh, obviously we got Thanksgiving right around the corner. We got Black Friday coming up. So, you know, for people that love to entertain like I do, we've got a great gift. It's called the Bartesian. It is the at-home smart cocktail maker. Knows how to make over 50-plus premium cocktails perfectly every time, including classics like margaritas and old fashions. And all you do, you fill four canisters up with your favorite alcohols. You put in the capsule of the drink you want to make. You press a button. Boom. In under 30 seconds, you have a delicious cocktail. Fully recyclable capsules contain all the real juices, bitters, extracts, that are needed for a perfectly balanced cocktail with nothing artificial. And the quality of ingredients makes all the difference. Now there are four different drink strengths you can choose from as well. And they've also got specialty capsules in naughty and nice collections for a fun twist on the holidays. And best of all, there's the Black Friday deal coming up and this is their best deal ever. It's now live. You can save a hundred bucks exclusively at Bartesian.com. That's, that's fun, especially for those 
uh, bartenders who aren't really good at making a whole bunch of different kind of cocktails. <laughs> People can just make their own. Or the bartender is busy over there talking with somebody else. I can just go over here and make my own. That's right. It's a, it's it's a great. I mean, I love the Bartesian. I've I've had one for a long time, and yeah. I love impressing my friends when they think I've made the drinks by hand. You know, and I come over with this perfect with every time, old fashioned. That's great. <laughs> Where's Bob? Oh, he, he just went behind that curtain. He'll be right back. Just give him a second. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. So, uh, you, what do you have that would be good for kids and adults? Well, we've got we got a couple things here that are perfect. Now, first. The Cradlewise Smart Crib. Now this is amazing. It uses audio and video, monitors the babies for first signs of stirring, soothes them back to sleep with a gentle natural bouncing movement before they cry. It's got a connected app that lets you track and learn their sleep schedule so you can watch them and share access outside your home. Converts from a bassinet into a crib so it can be used for babies up to two years old. And it literally has everything you need. It combines a bassinet, crib, baby monitor, sound machine, room temperature sensor, and the predictive technology saves parents two hours of sleep on average every single day. The early detection and early intervention helps connect the baby's sleep cycles. And you can visit cradlewise.com for their biggest sale ever, which is a discount of up to $700 for this Black Friday. So it's a pretty spectacular wow. gift. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm sorry, the cynic in me, because uh, even my grandkids are uh, too old for a crib, but the cynic in me is seeing uh, an old Bugs Bunny cartoon with that thing, you hit the button and it starts to vibrate. Now it's now it's really vibrating, and uh, Yosemite Sam goes flying out of that crib and, and uh, <laughs> off the cliff. The yeah, the Acme, the Acme crib. Yep, I remember him. I remember him well. Yeah, this hey, one's a little you, bit different. Yeah, thank goodness. Thank yes. Goodness. And uh, uh, this information, well, either of these, the Bart. I have a quick question about the Bartesian. Uh, when you buy it, it comes with a bunch of those capsules, correct? It sure does, yeah. It comes with the capsules included, and you know, you've got all different types that you can kind of personalize and order up um, you know, ahead of time, too. So if you know you like a certain type of beverage, you can order them from their site. It's pretty cool. Well, use, um, my question, I guess, was if you use them all on Thanksgiving, you can go back to the company and order more for New Year's or twice as many, you order a bunch? So oh, sure, yeah. Up. Yeah, you can and definitely get a whole bunch. Can those capsules, they go on the shelf or in the refrigerator? Well, they go on a shelf. They actually have a thing where you can, you can actually have it like on display, if you'd like, a little, almost like a kiosk that holds them. So, uh, oh, my gosh, my little doggy is making some noise. Can you hear it? Your door is, oh, that's your dog? I thought it was your doorbell. No, your it's doorbell. actually my last, my, last, uh, my last recommendation for the holidays. It's actually Dog E by Wowie, the one in a million robot dog. This thing's amazing. I don't know if you can hear its tail. This is oh, yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> Good housekeeping toy of the year award. You can uncrate the pup. You reveal a unique combination of lights and sounds and personality traits. No two doggies are ever the same. The kids are going to love it. Responds to you with over 200 sounds and reactions. Talks with its tail. You got interactive play with a connected app. And you can train your doggy to do tricks, track its needs, toss it a treat. Truly a robot dog for the whole family. And there's a Black Friday special on this one too. $67.99. Wow, that's cool. And that's different than the little robot dog that you had in a thing uh, that you attach to your keys, right? I got a friend who still has one of those dogs. You got to walk it and feed it. <laughs> this one's a little it. bit different, but I will tell you, it's incredible. Like I, I have to pet him to, to make him stop barking. Like, you know, and then oh. his tail tells me whether he wants to be pet some more or, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. The walking dog, I saw, I saw a talking hamster. Uh, the other day in social media, you know, it repeats what you said. There's all kinds of crazy, fun technology gifts for the holidays. Bob Guinea, anybody who is interested in these and a ton more, uh, dailylounge.com. That's where we're going? That's the spot. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. My absolute pleasure, and we will do it again as often as I can get away with. Dailylounge.com. Bob Guinea, thank you very much for talking with me. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, and, well, I will probably talk before Christmas, so I'll talk to you later. Thanks. All right, buddy. Take care.